Hey guys, this is Premium Poppy. God bless, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. No, I am. Welcome back to Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Last time, we defeated a Saltus and a Great Jaggy. And as you see, I'm wearing uh, Great Jaggy armor. I actually made it a goal to hunt a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the Great Jaggy over and over and over again. And we now have his armor. Uh, the armor stats are going to be right here. Um, so as you see, we have speed sharpening, and speeds up weapon while sharpening, and a half stun. Reduces the likelihood of being stunned by 50%. So that's not too bad. And there we go. So, yeah. I can't complain too much. It's pretty good for what we have right now. Um, we got a lot of defense, so there's that. We're actually going to be going to the, um, on an expedition today. So let's actually, uh, eat some food. Um, let's get Feline Trainer and Super Carver. Yeah, that might be helpful. Plus 10 health, plus 25 stamina. Not bad. Alright, so let's skip that. We're gonna go right into this. We're gonna stuff our face. I love it. It's amazing. Alright, now what we wanna do, we wanna go down to the world map on the uh, bottom screen, and then we wanna go down to on an expedition, and we want to um, start the expedition. Now, I'm gonna use the insect glaive still, just for a little bit. <laughs> And there is a Velocidrome, I believe. Yeah, research Velocidrome. Here we go. I hope you're well prepared for the day, for the day's adventures, Hunter. The only certainty during expeditions is uncertainty. Well, that, and all the things I'm about to explain to you. You've been tasked with exploring that there ever would. A land the guild has yet to fully survey. So naturally, they're looking for a full report, which monsters call the Everwood home and whatnot. So keep those eyes peeled. Reach the goal, and you'll find a wagon just waiting for you, courtesy of the guild. When you're all done and raring to return to town, just hop on that wagon to end the expedition. Now, if you collapse anywhere along the way, you'll be brought back to the starting point. Lucky for you, it won't count as a failed quest, but don't let me see you using that as an excuse for the half-hearted hunting. Very well. Might see monsters during your expedition. For now, though, just focus on research on reaching that rag wagon. Oh, and by the way, your map works a little different in the Everwood, too. If you ever want to get a rough idea where you are within the Everwood, just zoom out on the map. It's not exactly rich in detail, but if the guild has good maps of the place, what would they need you for? Ha ha ha. So yeah, the Everwood. <laughs> um, we can zoom out, and the, as you see, it's a little start area. Um, that's not going to be very helpful, so we want to have the map zoomed in for right now. Um, there is no supply box or delivery box, so what you're able to do is you're able to go around to these little uh, garbage piles and find yourself like first aid meds, and find yourself other useful equipment like, um, uh, like rations. So yeah, and I think you can get a torch here. Yes, you can. Okay, noted. So yeah, and then over here is another pile. And there we go. Rations times two. Let's get some more. And four rations. Alright. Any more? I don't think there is. Let's get right into this. I hope you guys' day is going well. Mine's been going pretty well. I will not lie to you. Um, I went to the, uh, a fair, and, again, and it was really fun. It was really, really fun. Um, not only did I get to go to the fair, uh, I got to hang out with some more friends, and I think I mentioned this last time. If not, I've been going to the fair the last, uh, couple days, and I've been really enjoying it. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, that's a, a Melex. I don't want to deal with you. Get out of here. Oh, and we get, uh, expedition points. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna actually get some crops. And herbs at maximum. Okay. Will you give us any anything? No, you won't. Okay. But, yeah. So, as you see, it's really unique. Oh, give my ration back. There we go. We got our ration back. Not bad. So, Melex will steal items from you, and they'll run away with the items. However, if you are able to hit them enough times before they run away, you'll get your item back. We got two more rations. Nice. But yeah, the Everwood. So as you can see, um, there's multiple different areas in the Everwood. Um, and you can't actually see where you are on the map. So you have to actually zoom in. And the maps are very unique. So do all sorts of research in the Everwood. Collect items if you want. It's more of a place that you can just go to get whatever item you need. And there are actually some really, really useful equipment here. Um, which I'll get into probably later once we actually are able to find it. Nothing over here. So yeah, take your time. Explore the Everward for the first few times. If you want to come back, get out of here, Melex. No one likes you. But yeah, it's pretty It's pretty cool. As we continue on here, there's lots of different little hidden areas. There are going to be 
um, these little outcroppings. Get them. Got a Matchalite Ore, Earth Crystal, and probably an Iron Ore. No, another Earth Crystal. Okay. We only got one first aid med. I thought we would have got more than that. Oh, well. Anything back here? No, there isn't. All right. But yeah, um, I went I went to the fair with some friends. I got to see a bunch of animals, including uh, cows, goats, sheep, alpacas, and llamas. That was really fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. I'm not going to lie. Um, these little goats were like, buying like, ah, all the way. And it was, it was really funny. Get out of here. Come here. Come here. Alright, it's a good thing Merrick's actually going after uh, the Melex. He, he'll keep uh, he'll keep him off our back. Got an insect tusk. Now, I, re I really recommend you make it a goal to hunt um, and gather as many resources as you can before you continue on with multiple quests. Um, another cool thing, I, I think I mentioned in one of the earlier episodes not to do the training quests because they're not worth it. But with the training quests, what I didn't mention is that after you complete them, um, each training quest goes over to different weapons, and at the end of the um, the quest, instead of getting like rewards for the monster you hunt, you actually will get potions, honey, and I believe like other equipment uh, or other items that could be useful. So if you want to get some free potions really easily in a very short amount of time, I recommend you go that way and do that. Nothing over here. Let's just continue this way. So yeah, and our goal is to hunt a Velocidrome. So, yeah. Anything back here? I don't think so. Nope. The Everwood. It's very unique, I gotta admit. It makes me wonder, because if, if they're still trying to survey this place, does that mean that, like, they don't know what's in here? Because if they have a wagon on the other side, that means they have to have gone in here before. I think, anyway. I don't know. I mean, they won't want us going in here unless they know what is in here. So. But we're getting a lot of materials. I'm pretty happy with it. All these unique mushrooms and stuff will definitely give us a um, a lot of extra points and money. Make sure, make sure also to explore every little crevice and area that you get, because you could find some really, really valuable stuff in here. I've only been to the Everwood in the other games like maybe seven, eight times. That's that's about it. Criminy, is that a Velocidrome? That ain't something you see every day, especially around these parts. Well, seems like a fine opportunity to learn how you report your expedition findings to the guild. If you want to convince the guild that you discovered the monster, you better have some proof of it to back it up. There's two types of evidence that go towards proving a Titan. You can either grab, you can either hunt a large monster down, or grab something it dropped. Keep an eye out for anything shiny. The guild will weigh either one as evidence that you spotted the critter. Once they get a reliable enough report, they'll officially designate this area as the monster's habitat. The more you prove, you, the more proof you can gather, the more reliable your report. Oh, and just one more thing: unlike the monsters in the normal areas, the critters you meet on expeditions uh, can run off without a trace. So if you're hoping to hunt one down, you gotta be smart about it. Speaking of which, are you gonna hunt down that Velocidrome there? It's entirely up to you, Hunter. If you don't w feel up to bringing it down, you uh, you best beeline to that wagon already. No one will think less of you for it. <laughs> so, yeah. Velocidrome. Um, there, it's like the Great Jaggy, except, you know, a, like a Velociraptor. Alright, come here. There we go. Um, let's try and mount this thing. Velocidrome was actually in the, I believe it was in the original Monster Hunter game. Um, it was a very prominent monster in some of the earlier games, like uh, Freedom, Freedom, U, uh, Freedom 2, Freedom Unite, Portable 2nd, uh, and Monster Hunter Dose. There we go. We mounted it. I'm going to make it a goal to hunt this thing down. Oh, that was close. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. That was close. Come on, come on, come on. We got to get it as close as we can. There we go. Not too shabby. Okay, let's break this thing's head. I think if you uh, mount it two times, you actually have a really good chance of breaking the, um, breaking the horn. Or breaking the head. 
So yeah, in order to uh, break some parts, you have to actually mount them. Interesting, but oh well. Alright, get over here. Hey, don't do that to me. I'll hit you. Thank you. Alright, come back here with that red essence. We got white. Alright. Four Velocipray defeated. I actually think it might be wise to uh, get some Velocipray uh, parts. Because you're going to need some to craft a Velocidrum armor. And probably going to make it wise. Oh, okay, so for this, what you want to do, you want to move the... Um, oh, come on. I'm not going to faint yet. Alright, get out of here. No, 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 no. Okay, so what you saw I did right there was when you get knocked down, there's going to be a little animation with the little uh, bar on the bottom. In order to uh, get rid of that quicker, uh, quicker, press the, press the A button rapidly. And when you press the A button rapidly, take your analog stick and quickly rotate it to the... Uh, rotate it counterclockwise. And it should rapidly make that bar decrease. Also, I want to I want to get one of these Velocidrome parts. There we go. That thing did a lot of damage to us, not gonna lie. So as you saw, uh, the Velocidrome went to a different area. Because it went to a different area, we actually have to go find it in the Everwoods. So, yeah. There also is a mining outcrop over there. So, yeah, let's go get that. So, yeah, just be on the lookout. Go hunt down parts if you really want to. So, yeah. Alright, here we go. Let's let's get this mining out crop. A whetstone, maximum. Two earth crystals. Iron pickaxe broke, but we also got an iron ore. Not bad. Okay, is there anything else we can get here? Uh, looks like there's another mining out crop right there. Or is that... No, that's a plant. And we can't even get that plant. Okay. I was mistaken. Looks like there's some bugs and... Another plant over there we actually can get items from. So as I was saying, and as the tutorial said, or the uh, Caravaneer said, if you aren't fast enough hunting down a monster, it will run away. Also, I was pretty happy that we got a, uh, that I managed to get a, 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 a Mega First Aid Med, or a First Aid Med Plus. Get out of here. I'm gonna, you know, we'll just continue onward. I want to hunt that Velocidrum down. Bug net broke, we got, but we got a Mega Fishing Fi. And a Thunderbug. Nice. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm still getting over my cold. A lot of these episodes I'm recording are being recorded in like, I don't know, like four or five, four or five days time. So it's going to take a bit of time for me to actually to get over this cold. Ooh, look at all this Gargua. And there it is. The Velocidrum. Is that a mining outcrop? Looks like a, looks like a, uh, a large monster. But it might not be. Looks like a large monster will encounter. Oh, there we go. We actually broke the, the head. Nice. Alright. Um, I'm really happy that we did get this extra armor. It's going to be very helpful in some quests. Let's get that shiny. It's calling for reinforcements. Well done. All your findings got reported to the guild. They seem impressed. I heard that the guild provides special bonuses to hunters who help with big expedition discoveries. Oh, now you're all raring to get back out there exploring, are ya? Velocity scale obtained. Okay. Alright, I want to mount this thing. Come on. Oh, that was a nice, that was a nice attack on you. I'm still shocked about what Merrick said to us. He's a little cocky, I'm not gonna lie. Telling us that we're not good enough. Oh, we uh, knocked that thing down. Okay. Alright, I want to mount this thing again. There we go. Second time we mounted it. Good. Alright. Don't want that thing getting up. So if you want to... Um, when the red uh, bar meter fills up, in order to stop it from going, you press the right um, trigger. I believe it is, anyway. Right trigger or the right, whatever it's called. Anyway, yeah. The right uh, trigger or bumper button and... Oh, wait. It's not dead yet. What am I thinking? There we go. Now it's dead. But yeah, we, we defeated it. 
Let's get the parts off it. Velocidrum hide obtained. All right. I'm scouting to see if there's anything else we actually can get around here. Doesn't look like it, other than that thing right over there. And a Velocidrum claw. Not too shabby. All right, we're going to head this way. Maybe we'll actually get some of these gargoyle down. Anything? I mean, there's an egg, but... I don't see a point in getting the eggs. Those guys are just moving so slowly. They're like, uh, we don't care. You killed our friend. You killed our friends. Who cares? We're alive. That's what matters. All right, there we go. Our Gargua, uh, Griro, or whatever it's called. What was it called again? Oh, it's literally poop. Oh, it's oh, it's poop. Gueno. It's it's literally feces. I mean, it's used for medication. So, I mean, if that's what they want to use it for, then okay. Anything in here? No, it looks like there's nothing there. Um, look at every little area. You might find stuff. I'm also going to use a ration, get our stamina back up. Maybe I'll use another one. That great, um, that great, that Velocidor was actually really easy to defeat. All right, what are we going to get here? Anything? Two rations. Nice. Anything else? Two more rations. We're going to be almost max on rations. And a large barrel. Okay. I'll swap that out with the... Um... With the insect husk. Why not? Well, let's get this over here. I believe this is going to be nectar. Yep, a lot of nectar. So nectar is what you use to level up and increase your the level of your uh, your uh, kinsect for the insect glaive. You level up the insect glaive on its own, and you also level up the kinsect on its own. So, yeah, and you can have multiple different combinations, which are really, really cool. You made it to the goal. See that wagon over there? Hop aboard, and you can return to your from your expedition. All in all, a fine a fine day's work, Kindred Hunter. Travel safe, and we'll see you back in Val in Valhabar. Yep. So there we go, and you can come talk to this guy over here. This is a veggie elder. Well, well, what can I do for you, Hunter? How about a ha boy howdy? Is that a bon bona fide unique mushroom I see? How about I got something nice? I got something nice. I trade uh, trade you for it. How about it? Sure, why not? Ah, oh, tough luck. Looks like your pa item pouch is full. So, we can't do that. I'll show you guys what it is. It's probably nothing too special. Because um, we made it, I'm going to get rid of the uh, first aid meds. All right, let's try it. Yes. And we have a bomb casting. Okay. So, yeah, bomb casting. Anyway, let's return f uh, to the town. What a view. That's a really nice view, honestly. Quest completed. Yay! Do, 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 do. And we got a Velocidrum Hide. And we got Ivy, Earth Crystal, Nectar, and more Nectar, and more Nectar. Not bad. Got quite a few uh, Caravan Points. And a Rare Eco Discovery Rate is at 2. Not bad. A new Guild Quest is available. Nice. And that is the Velocidrum added to the Quest Pool. Indigo Hunters has been added to the gallery. The Great Jaggy will now show up on Expeditions. Velocidrome will now show up on Expeditions. Nice. Pretty cool. Yes, we'll save the game. Fine work, and guess what? You got a new comrade. I got a new comrade for you to meet. Man, he's just going for it. How you doing, Kindred Hunter? I got two matters to report. First th first up, the caravan finally has a cook, namely the street cook. Who knew that character who knew that the character just a few feet away from me with cook in his name was actually a cook? You you literally didn't see him cooking in the giant walk? Really? Really, Caravaneer? Anyway, he was more than happy to tour the world with us. So make sure you say hello or miho, miho or miheo or whatever. Next up, the guild is mighty impressed with your expedition work. They even wrote a letter of commendation. It says, in light of your expedi expeditional field work, the guild hereby authorizes you to undertake guild quests. 
Be on the lookout for large monster sighted in the air for a large monster sighted in the area as you continue operating in the field. Guild quests, really and truly, hot dang! The guild must like you because guild quests are something special. Of course, it may have helped that the old caravaneer put in a good word for you when he submitted your report. Heart, go talk to the guild barm. If you want a crack at those guild quests, she's bound to be all fired up about it. Right. You and me should talk about our next destination. Once the ca caravan finds its merchant and the whole uh, posse is assembled, I plan to leave. I plan for us to leave Balhabar. Where to, you ask? Some place where we can make ourselves a ship, of course. Like a really big, strong one. Ha ha ha. You can't go far without a ship. And if I'm going to figure out this article, I can't be limited by distance. Ah, right. You haven't seen it yet, have you? Here, have a look. This is the article. Amazing, isn't it? Ever since it fell into my keeping, I've been en en enchanted by its wonder and beauty. I've seen my share of incredible things, but this triumphs them all. It's like an itch that I can't quite scratch. Oh, what I wouldn't give to know about the story behind it. I do just about anything, even run off in a caravan. I liked how the lady was just watching us and listening into our conversation like, I want to join you guys. And that's how me and the man got started. We've had an amazing adventure every which place, but the article remains an enigma. Still, we aren't about to throw in the towel. No siree. The truth is out there, somewhere, and I'll find it. I don't care what I have to cross the s I don't care if I have to cross the sea or sprout wings. Anyway, next stop is to build a ship. If you ask me, our best bet is a village known for its craftsmanship. I can't wait to be the capital C captain of the capital C's very own vessel. Har har. That was a mouthful. So get out there. Do these expeditions and find out what kind of large monsters the guild was, uh, was on about. And go prepared. Yep. Let's talk to the uh, the street cook. Mm Miaho, what do you want, Hunter with the eyebrows? Hey, you're one of the caravan's companions. This is good news. I actually became the caravan's, uh, caravaneer's companion, so I could cook for the caravan. The caravan says my meals are number one. Here, I have a gift for you, my new companion. I think it'll be useful for you. I hope that you like my number one meals, Hunter. They have the best tastes. So we got a gourmet voucher. Vouchers and gourmet vouchers will allow you to get meals for free and will increase the actual uh, boost that you get for stats. All right, let's go talk to the the man. What? Oh, the article the caravaneer is always carrying on, carrying around. A strange object, it is truly. He and I have long sought to solve its mystery, and sometimes alone, sometimes with a grand caravan in tow. But many have since joined and left the caravan, and the article's secret remains precisely that, secret. Shall we now? Nope. Uh, all right, who else? There's one more. The courier, okay. Come here. I want to talk to you. Congrats on getting cleared for uh, guild quest. I knew you were a pro. Now that you have guild quest eligible, I have some important news tonight. If you use my courier service to activate street pass, you can send a guild quest to other players. Let me run you through the steps. So yeah, you can. Uh, th he's just telling you that if you activate street pass, you'll be able to send guild quest to other players, and they'll be able to do your quest, and you can do their quests. So yeah, pretty interesting. Um, we could also talk to the guild barn, but first things first, I want to go back here, put some items away, and I also want to make it a goal to, um, yeah, I want to put items away, I also want to, oh, I didn't want to put that one away, but probably best we did, yeah, put all this stuff away, we got a lot, um, so yeah, put items away, uh, restock some of our items, and we should be all set. We got 14 potions. It's not a lot. We really need to make it a gold to go get some extra materials. Um, I actually might switch out our weapon. I want to actually try the uh, the dual blades. No, I don't want to use the dual blades. We'll use a charge blade. The elite blade. All right. There we go. Now let's go talk to the guild marm. Big news, doodle. Happy news at that. You just got cleared to take on guild quests. Bravo. Guild quests are a quest with a twist issued by the uh, guild uh, by the quest bureau. Once you've investigated monsters while on expeditions and received clearance for a guild quest, well, then the quest will be temporarily added to the guild quests in the menu. Careful though. You need to do one uh, you need to do one more step before you can attempt that quest. You have to register the quest using a manage lists. This is important. Only registered guild quests can be attempted at any time from the gathering hall. So don't forget as for the guild quests themselves, they have unique rules. Rule number one, 
Completing them raises the difficulty level, rewards, and more. Number two, you can exchange guild quests using Street Pass. Duck the courier in the red cap if you want to change your Street Pass settings. Also, keep in mind that when you exchange a guild quest, the level will be what it is when you first received it. Anyway, that's the gist of it. The Everwood sure is lovely, though. I wish I could go on expeditions. Be sure to stay safe and have fun out there. Okay, here come the quests. So yeah, nothing really right now. Um, we, uh, let's actually make it a goal to go to the um, the gathering hall. Because I think there might be stuff at the gathering hall we can actually talk to. Anything? No. But uh, we'll be, So if we go here, we go to low rank quests. If you take a look, um, you see guild quests. No quest data found. So we have to register them in the game menu. In order to register guild quests, let's go to the main menu. Um, guild quests. Manage list. So we have a quest pool, and as you see right on the bottom screen, the guild quest is to hunt one Velocidrome, which is level one. So, level one Velocidrome, really easy. The further the... Oh, and also, as you see right there on the big screen, so yeah, guild quest info, one out of 50. Selected quests are zero, registered quests are zero out of 10. You must register a guild quest to undertake them. Hunt one, Velocid one Velocidrome. The equipment bias. You may you have to use a great sword or a long sword to beat, to beat the monster. And the armor is the Freedom Series at C the head. So yeah, guild quests are a little bit difficult, and as you see, it's level one. So to register it, so all we gotta do is uh, we could look at it. I believe if we um, press the start button, it's registered. Oh. I'm gonna check what, uh, let's see, A button is to read, X button is select, Y button delete, yeah, so there we go, press the X button and we have registered it, and that's about it. So I believe we have a guild quest registered now, so now we can come down here to the guild quest, oh, nope, we didn't register it, give me a second. This is honestly the first time I've actually done this, register quest on the bottom screen. Well, it'll be deleted from the quest pool, and now it's registered. So now we can come over here to the low rank uh, quest lady. Go to the guild quest, and there we go. Hunt one of Velocidrome. So yeah, that's how the guild quests work. We're not going to do that right now. Um, I actually am going to head all the way back to Valhabar. Actually, no. So if we come down here, look, another monster, a rare monster. Let's go back to Valhabar. I'm going to go to our house. I don't want to use the Charge Blade right now. I, I thought we could use it, but I don't feel like it. Uh, um, manage equipment. Select equipment. We could organize it. I don't want to do that right now. We have 11 item slots, so... I might organize this later, but for now, it's going to work just fine. Um, what weapon do I want to use? You know what? I will use the gun lance. I do not use it a whole lot, so it's going to be kind of new to me. Um, I, I use it sometimes. It's, it's not a whole lot, so I'm a little rusty with it. So let's go and let us go on an expedition. We'll go on the expedition, but first things first, I want to make it a goal to at least um, eat for some food and prepare for the expedition. Um, we could get the jumbo bed. I might get this. No, 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 no. So if we did get that and that, health plus 20, Palico, health plus 8. Boost fire resistance. I might want that. That might be the best thing we can get for now. We'll skip the cutscene. There we go. So yeah, we're going to use a gun lance. So let me prepare. Um... Okay, buy some items. We're going to buy some more herbs. Uh, buy a, a pickaxe and buy a bug net. Uh, what else can we buy? Barbecue split might be useful. Maybe. Um, I... Yeah, I think that's gonna be good for now. That'll be good for now. Okay. So, now that that's done... Uh, oops, let's organize. And we are gonna be going... On the expedition. Go here, here, depart, and there's a Yankaku. Yankaku is another large monster. Another relatively simple monster. I hope you're all set and ready for your adventure, Hunter. You're about to see what a real expedition is all about. 
Last time, the idea was just to make it to the wagon at the finish. But this time, I will be satisfied until you do do we do until you do si do with the honest to goodness large monster. If you collapse, you can pick uh, pick up from the starting point. But don't get slacking. I don't suffer. I don't suffer layabouts, Hunter. Anyhow, anywho, uh, you need to keep on your toes. Even in the even the terrain will be different from your last visit. So yeah, the terrain is going to be uh, procedurally generated. Every time you play, it's going to be different. Uh, think about you know Pokemon Mystery Dungeon explores the sky. Every time you enter the dungeon, it was completely different. It's the same way for the Everwood. So yeah. Um, as you see, the gun lance is a little bit different. You see next to the sharpness meter, we actually have bullets. Um, we can shoot bullets out of our gun lance, and we actually can also hit with our gun lance. And we can also block with. <laughs> excuse me. We can block with the gun lance like this. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. But um, yeah. <sighs> Let's get going. Also, every t um, when you block with a gun lance or a lance or any shield, you lose stamina. So make sure you um, have items that can keep your stamina up or keep lots and lots of rations with you. Or well-done steaks or rare steaks or burnt meat or stuff like that. So, yeah. Alright, let's keep going. Who knows what we might find. Hello? Hello? You're just kind of sitting around. Are you okay, bud? He seemed kind of sad. He was just kind of sitting there like, what am I going to do with my life? I'm just kind of sitting here, you know, thinking. Our bug net broke and we just got it. Alright. So if we can hunt this large uh, Yen Kaku, or if we can even um, get one of the parts, we'll be able to actually go on hunts um, in the expedition, or in the Everwoods, and actually hunt Yen Kaku. Pretty cool monster. Uh, it was also one of the ones from the older games like uh, Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter Dos, uh, Monster Hunter Freedom, Freedom 2, and Freebie Night. And I believe it's also in Generations and Generations Ultimate. Oh, there's a Melex. I don't want to deal with those. I will, however, go after uh, the mining point and get them. Whetstone's at max. Whetstone's at max. Come on. Oh, well, that was a waste. Um, bitter bug. Nah. Okay. I was actually hoping a little bit that we could get some other ore. But yeah, if we can get one part from this monster, we'll be able to uh, find them on expeditions again. Or quests. There, a young Kaku. You know, if you could tangle with that, I bet the guild would be mighty impressed. Ah, I probably should have mentioned that this sooner. The guild has different ratings for each monster based on their power. Hunt down a monster and come back with an item that one dropped, and the guild will definitely take notice. The stronger the monster, the higher the rating, and you'll be, and your recognition will be. Remember that when you're when you're gunning for permission to take on higher rank quests. Whether, the, whether you're going to kill or just to get a dropped item a, as proof, the stronger the monster, the better. Might as well try it now, eh? Try to get a dropped item from this Yankut Kill. Or heck, just slay the dang thing. If you, if you ain't in the fighting shape, don't be afraid to hightail it to the wagon and get out of there. But I bet you can, but I bet you can do it. You're the one to get it done. Yankut Kill. So this guy is pretty um, simple, also pretty cool. All right, come on. Let's just stab this, stab the crap out of this thing. 
Oh. So yeah, Gunlands, pretty pretty unique weapon, honestly. Um, I think reloading is. Oh, that didn't work. We need to have better blocking. Uh, I think. Oh, there we go. Come on, come on, hit. Oh, I mean, it may might have hit. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember how to reload. I haven't done this in so long. Uh, Gunlance is unique for me. Again, I'm, I have to remember how this works. Oh boy, how do I do this? Yeah, I'm, I'm learning along with you guys. So, yeah. Thank you, Merrick, uh, Merrick for the extra health. Alright, reload. I should have went on the trading quest. Why didn't I? So as you saw, we blocked the attack. However, because we blocked it, our stamina went down. All right, when it uses the fireball, we need to get out of the way. Also, as you see, we're on fire. Because we're on fire, we actually got to roll. And rolling three times usually will uh, knock the fire out. All right, I'm going to use a first aid bed. Too, uh, too bad we don't, uh, we don't... We don't even need a... Uh, a potion. Or, excuse me, a paintball. Because we're in the Everwoods. This thing will just be ahead of us at some point. Oh, there we go. Weapon power decreased. Okay, we need to use a whetstone. Also, I see a, a, a mining point over there. So it might be wise to actually uh, get that mining point. Oh, that was easy. Thank you, armor bonuses. Or armor skills. Okay, come on. This might take a little bit longer than I was expecting. Okay, how do I want to do this? I mean, we got hit and we got knocked around, so I can't say, say too much. There we go. Alright, here we go. One hit, one hit. Oh, there we go. We gotta reload. We're not doing too bad, honestly. It keeps getting his head stuck. As you see, the Yankaku likes to eat uh, conchus. And that's how they actually use their fireballs, is uh, the conchus. So, yeah. Oh, and it's eating another one. Oh, there we go. Okay, not too shabby. There's a dropped item, so now that that item is dropped, we actually will be able to report that to the guild. So yeah, it's just a pretty simple monster, but if you're going to be like me and just, you know, forget how to use all the weapons. All right, there we go. Report it to the guild. There we go. Thank you, Merrick, for the extra health. So when Merrick levels up, he'll be able to heal you a lot more. I believe if you um, jump off a ledge and use the gun lands, you can like do a downward swing. So it's pretty cool. Alright, it's gonna run away. So the Uncut is running away. Good for us. If you actually watch the shadow, you'll be able to see where it goes. This is on like normal maps or on this one. Now, it's, it, it doesn't go anywhere. That is because we are on an expedition. But on normal quests, any monster that can fly, um, follow the shadow, and that is where it will end up. So, yeah. I think I mentioned there's a uh, mining outcrop somewhere. I actually want to go for that mining outcrop. If I can remember where it was. Also, I want to use a whetstone again, because our uh, weapon is not as sharp as it used to be. Man, I like how fast we sharpen our weapon, too. 
Was there a mining outcrop, or was that just me? Yeah, there was. Okay, I knew it. Good. I wasn't... I wasn't going in crazy. I mean, I might be, but you never know. Iron ore obtained. Iron ore obtained again, and we got a whetstone. Nice. All right, we're going to eat a ration and get our um, stamina back up. Oh. All right, how do I reload again? Give me a second. Hunter's notes. Okay, give me a second. Let's look at Hunter's notes. Weapons controls. We're going to go and look at the gun lance. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Alright, combine these attacks A while blocking or sidestep to reload. So is it X plus A? Yeah, okay, there we go. I figured it out. I, just, I was just trying to figure out how to reload. I'm like, why can't I reload? This is miserable. Anyway, on to the next area. Yank Yankaku's in this area. So, yeah. Oh, he's in a different area. He's running away still. So we're just going to, like, rush past these guys. Go for the end. And hopefully we'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to hunt Yankaku. Thank you, Merrick. I appreciate you healing us with the horn again. Oh. No, we didn't make it to the end. Okay. Two rations. Monster looks like it's going to flee. Okay, so yeah. If the monster flees, at least we got a item that we can bring back to the guild as evidence. But if not, we'll just try to hunt it as fast as we can. Yeah. How are you holding up, Kindred Hunter? Woo wee. You don't find places like this every day. It looks like you stumbled onto something pretty special. I'd scour every nook and cranny if I were you. Something might, uh, mighty interesting could have, could turn up. So in this area, if you uh, are very cautious and you actually look around, you can get some pretty valuable equipment. Battle the ar battered armor. Ooh, now that's a rare find. Could that be? Yep, that's a relic, all right. Relics are precious ar uh, armaments made out of materials that you can't even find in these parts. I hate to say it, but in its current condition, that thing's unusable. Maybe if there was some way to polish it. Anywho, I'd hold I'd hold on to it all in the same. You never know what something like that could be worth. Yep. All right, let's keep booking. Iron pickaxe broke. Earth crystal. Earth crystal again. And iron ore. So keep looking, and you might find really cool stuff. Um, anything over here? Made it through there. Uh, anything at all? Nothing. Okay, we'll keep going. I hope the Yankat coup doesn't go away, because I actually want to kind of slay this thing. Oh, never mind. You made it. Fine work today, Hunter. You're a credit to the caravan. Now hop onto that wagon and head back to town. Always remember, no matter how rough it gets out there, you can just make it. if you can just make it to the wagon, you're all set. Of course, if you want to get back to a little bit quicker, you can select Return to Town from the menu. You keep everything in your pouches, but you won't get any bonuses from the guild. Those are for, closer, those are for uh, closers only. So you need to reach the wagon for that. So needless to say, always stick it out to the wagon, if you can. Anyhow, you deserve a foot rub and a cold drink. Heck, maybe even treat you. To which one? Come back and find out what. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> ha, ha, have a steep trip, Hunter. See you back in the Valhabar. I'm gonna get a foot massage from the caravaneer. That's, uh, interesting. Hey, at least we managed to, um get the, um, the Enkiku part, so we're able to actually get, uh, send data to the guild. Alright. So, the, send all these back. We'll appraise that. And what is this? Send the item box. It is a Hunter's Van Brace. 24 defense. It's rusted. So, because they're rusted, we cannot use it right now, but if we get it polished, we'll be able to actually use it. So, the, the rare eco-discovery rate went up. Enter the coot, uh, the coot coup has been added to the gallery. Yankaku will now appear on Expeditions. Uh, Celtus will now show up on Expeditions. Nice. Save our progress. Good work with the field work. Good job with the field work. I have to ask. Were the monsters cute? Maybe. I don't know. I'm done with the Gunlands until so I actually do a little bit more training with it. I, I really need to train with the Gunlands, actually. I feel bad for how horrible I was with it. I, I did awful. I did so awful with the Gunlands. 
That took a lot longer than I wanted. Oh, there's also the last item we want to put away. There we go. And we're going to swap out... I think I'm actually going to swap out... I'm going to... You know what? I want to use the... Um, we'll use the uh, the long sword for now. We'll use the long sword again. Might be... <coughs> excuse me. My word. <coughs> Might be useful. Fine to see... Uh, Fine to see you with your face intact, Kinder Hunter, and a way to appreciate that expedition. Expedite that expedition. I have happy news to report. That's right, I found a merchant who's willing to join Capital C. Oh, allow me to introduce the Y Coon. Oh, so you know him already. Then you might also know he came from Valhabar to investigate the lost art of melding while he pedals on the on the side. Unfortunately, a catch a watcher recently sighted near uh a catch a watcher recently sighted near Valhabar has thrown a wrench into its um, entrepreneur, tr neural work. Basically, it sounds like it's trash in his major trade route. The guild has decided to treat the Kachawacha as an urgent quest. And guess who's uh, been tapped for hunting duties? That's right, you. The Waikun has agreed to join up with us, provided we get rid of the Kachawacha and restore his supply line. Once that's taken care of, he and the rest of the rest of us can ready up for the next village. Did I mention that we have a next village? Yep, ever heard of a place called Hearth? Was it? It's near the mouth of a big old volcano. They excel at weapons and armor production, so the village is bursting with hunter. And on top of that, the, con the constant lava supply allows uh, them to handle tall orders, like ships tall, if you get my meaning. Anywho, that's our hot new destination. L literally and figuratively. Har har. Right then. Get out there and hunt that catch a watcher, kindred hunter. You're the one to get it done. Yep, so that is our next goal, to hunt a, um, a catch a watcha. Let's go talk to you now. Doodle, the moment is upon us. We just got our first urgent quest. Your job, to hunt a catch a watcha. Way to go. Clearly, the, the Doodle fan club's diligent evangelism has paid off. So, uh, what were we talking about? Oh, right. The urgent quest. I guess, uh, I guess I'd better run you through how those work. After you work hard at hunt and plow through the various quests, the guild will recognize those efforts and give you the very special opportunity to attempt an urgent quest. If you succeed at that urgent quest, you'll be granted access to the next tier of quests. When you want to attempt an urgent quest, you'll need to, clo to choose the red notebook at the quest counter. And that, that all, that's all there is to it. Oh, one more thing. I got a few quests for you to take on. Um, I got a few quests that you... Uh, that take you on as a new hunting grounds. They're a group of two-star quests if you want to take a look. Okay, boy, I'm glad that I'm done having to explain that. So how about that urgent quest, Doodle? Fun times, right? If anyone can succeed in the eyes of the guild, I know it's you. Yeah, rah, rah. Okay, here come the quests. So there are urgent quests down here. Swing into action. That will bring us to uh, three-star quests. Or we can come up here. And there are two more quests that we actually can do. We can hunt a, another Celtus and another monster, uh, another monster. So as you see, there's a Celtus on the screen on the little icon of it. There's also a danger icon. That will be for another large monster. Pretty cool. And crystal and the uh, crystal clearing. Our goal is to deliver four sulfur crystals. And I believe this is going to be located... The, uh, the hollow. So yeah, this is a new area called the hollow. Um, I'll probably get into this next episode a little bit. I think, anyway. Let's look. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get into that next episode. So, yeah. I am gonna end the episode here, guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I did. We got a lot done. We got expeditions done. So, yeah. I'll see you in the next episode. God bless you all. That lady's always snooping in our business. Why do you do that to us, lady? Why do you do that to us? Yeah, you better run. Oh, dear. No, no. We almost got ran over.